Hey everyone, and today we're going to be going over a quick guide of how to actually make money auction flipping. So this is the best way if you're a newer player with no starting money. I have 1 million coins, that's super easy to start with. Um, you can get that in your first couple hours playing. Um, an easy way to get your first couple coins is just farming wheat and just the standard materials that they have around the, the spawn island. Um, and then just doing like little quest items like the frozen chicken talisman and selling that kind of stuff. And that makes a lot of money really easily. And so, now that you've got a million coins, what can you do with that? How do you make more? You want to buy a strong set of armor, right? It's going to be like 2 million for a whole set. And, yeah, 2 million for a whole set. And you can't really afford that. So, how do you get 1 million to more? Well, that's what this video is about. So we're going to go over somewhere that's slightly less laggy. Um, lag is a very important part of this because we're going to be auction flipping, which, or bin sniping, which is my favorite and the best way to make money without a lot of starting capital, because it takes no effort and there's very little chance to lose money, right? So, start a timer here and let's get started. So what you want to do is find items that have high demand and easy margins. An example of this would be like the Jerry Talisman during a Jerry event, right? So you go to the talismans, you buy this, and then you sell it at the next value. But what we're going to do today is ultimate wise books. So I'm going to go to consumables, I'm going to look, we're going to check what the cost of an ultimate wise five book is right now, right? Ultimate wise four, 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 or, you know, the fake ones. And there we go. The cheapest one, 3.5 million. That's actually really good. So what we're going to do is to start flipping. So I'm going to actually fill my inventory with just random items so that all of the books go into my auction house. All right? And then so we're going to need to refresh this a few times because we did just load it. So these are all gone. So the point is that we're bin sniping. So if you don't buy it right away, it's already gone. You just got to accept that. So you're not going to get items the second that you you search for an item. And the point of this is that every single thing you buy is big profit. So you're not going to be able to win most of them, right? That's the way it works. Is most of these you will lose. And you just got to try and win as many as you can. So there's our first win. There's like 70k just then. We've already made 7% of our money in one minute, two minutes. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of rusty, obviously. And yeah, that's it. I'll cut to a time lapse. Taking forever.
All right, so now we're at a point where, because we had such a low starting cash, we are done. All right, this is the best we can do for now. So we're going to combine these. So ultimate wise, ultimate wise two, ultimate wise two, ultimate wise two, and we're going to get ultimate wise three. So the only one we're going to sell right now is the ultimate wise three because we don't care about the others. So ultimate wise three. What is it running at right now? Because these are priced differently than the others. So 950. So we're going to do 939k because we don't care about perfect margins. We care about numbers right now. So these are going to just sit here and we're going to keep flipping. So now we have to wait. And this is the thing with auction flipping is when you're doing um, flips like this, you have to wait until you have enough capital to keep doing it. So we're locked out for now, right? But um, you can still look for things that you'd want to flip. Since we're waiting, might as well um, grind some Enderman. <laughs> We're just we're just gonna be waiting until this finishes. So I'm going to get out um, so Enderman Granite setup and let's make some money. I already put on my Enderman. Oh, I I rebound it. That's annoying. God potion, we will be slow as heck. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Let's forget what I rebind it to, because usually I do different stuff. The only important thing is I always do right click for how you actually activate it. I'm just gonna do the lazy spot. You make more if you actually run around, but. go for sale want to wait for the other one to sell but since we have a little more cash we might as well actually already looked it up so 120k so why you go to likeless lobbies is so you can get better rates because it's all about how fast you can buy them Surprised the um, Ultima Wise 2 actually sold. Those usually don't sell. If you want to hardcore sweat it, you could do in between because it takes time to reset. So, like, once this resets, right? And there's another set of auctions. What you can do. Now we're waiting for it to reset, right? So now we can grind zealots in between. Now it's probably reset. Come on. Nope, still twisted. So we can get about one set of zillets every time that it that we wait for it. I'm not really a zealot farmer, but you know. A 
lot of spawns. Did I actually win some of these? Well, I guess I did. Didn't say I won that. Interesting. Okay. So now we can make another Ultimate West 3. They're actually the most profitable of them. And this guy has not sold yet. So what we can do is actually go and check what the lowest price is for Ultimate West 3. Oh, someone undercut by. So I'd buy that. We're going to go up to Ultimate West 4. What's the price for that? Is that worth doing? Not at all. Alright. Now we just keep waiting. I didn't realize we actually won any of those auctions. I think you're gonna get it? You're not. <laughs> uh, I feel bad. Yeah? You, you, gonna, you gonna get it? Gonna get it? <laughs> uh, you're not getting any zealots while I'm around. Oh yeah? You gonna get it this time? You gonna get it this time? <laughs> you can't. You can't compete. Ooh. Poor guy. I'll leave him alone. Oh, look at that. We got a Zoe, or a summoning eye. Obviously, you can come here if you're a new player too, but we're not going to count this for the, the test. I was just doing this for my own money. Throw all that stuff away. One of them sold. So we're going to go to the hub and grind again since we have actual capital again. And people just forget how much this makes, right? Like, it's been 12 minutes, right? So it's not been no time. Like, time's passed. But... We've already went from 1 mil to 2 mil. We've already doubled our money. That's the thing. We doubled our money in 12 minutes. I didn't only make... 100 okay or one mil in 12 minutes it was we doubled our money because we had to wait when we were grinding zealots and that's where the difference is we were just waiting for stuff to happen so now i'm sure that's gone yeah because even if 12 minutes was all we got that's still five mil an hour and now it's with a lot of downtime And that's the whole point of this, is you have to realize it's pretty much infinitely scalable. You just switch to higher priced items. Ones with a lot of supply like this, that people don't find very valuable, have the best margins. Because we're buying at like 100 to 150k, probably 130 on average, but they're worth 205 or 210 right now. So we're making 100k per purchase. You know, like that's good. That's really good. Okay. Sometimes they'll put them up for like 50 coins or 500 coins. I mean, and I never get them. It's so disappointing. I've gotten like a couple, but those always go instantly. Another one that's really good apparently is Diamante's handles because they have really high demand because you want items that have demand. These have a slightly low demand, but you can craft it into Ultimate Wise 5. So even though there's a low demand, it's actually higher. It's 16 times higher than you'd expect because you have to use 16 of these books. So the demand for these isn't insane, 
but it actually ends up being insane. So don't buy that because it's overpriced. Right? So even though there's only probably one minute sold of these on the server, that's actually 16 per minute of the Ultimate Wise ones that need to be bought to satisfy that demand. So that's why this is so good. we've gotten to a point now where we should be able to satisfy our current money supply with our past purchases and that's a big point that's one of the most important parts is to never run out of money if we just sold that for what amount 899,000 coins so we're going to list another one 899,000 fill our inventory again and keep going I don't have a good connection either. I'm at a crappy apartment. Six, seven. So our next one's gonna be an ultimate wise four that we're gonna sell. And that'll satisfy our money for a while. There we go. So now, one that was good profit. Two, we're going to be able to sell for an ultimate wise 4, which won't compete with our ultimate wise 3. 1, 2, 3. Thought we had 7. Did I combine that incorrectly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess it was just 7. Okay. That's fine. Oh, but we do have this one too. Awesome. Seven, 0.75 mil. So that's 875,000 per. We'll undercut that. So we're still profiting. That's the thing. This is still profit for us. This guy, let's see why that hasn't sold yet. There might just not be demand for it right now. Cheapest ultimate wise three is by far mine. Oh wow. Could even raise the price. Now we'll leave it there. So now we just wait. So we're at 20 minutes. 
right? And we've gone from 1 million coins to 900,000 plus 1.7 mil is 2.6 mil. So we've made 1.6 mil in 20 minutes, which is 4.8 mil an hour. But we've had to just sit and wait like right now for quite a while. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Doo -doo -doo. Anyway, just chilling, waiting for our book to end. Um, so we can go to the end again. Just make some more money for myself. Not even money, mostly combat XP. Most important thing for me. Actually, hmm. I'll buy a god potion. Oh, I'm out of bits. I see. No god potion then. without jump boost. That's too far away. Yeah, so this is not the best spot. You want to be down there. Do things. go. They've all sold. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, we have 2.6 mil to throw into this. Now we for sure are not going to run out of money. Because 2 plus mil, that's enough for Ultimate Wise 5. And we're going to be selling Ultimate Wise 4s and 3s, not 5. Because 5 usually makes the least amount of margins. Our goal is Ultimate Wise 3s. But if we get more than two of them listed at a time, you know, you don't want to have to wait for them to sell until you have enough money that you can. But guide isn't made for people that have enough money to wait. Eight ninety nine k again is actually the best deal for us. We're gonna list that again because it's not a bad deal. Like, we 
Again, we don't care if it's not the best possible deal. We care about numbers here. Because sure, maybe you can make 5k more per book if you use something else, but you'll make more if you buy one extra book. Each of these is 100k profit. Every single one. Sensitivity has gotten messed up, and I'm not sure what happened to it. go to 30 minutes, stop the challenge there, see what we've made. sell. I know that. It's just so slow. So there are cycles to the auction house, right? And sometimes you're on a good cycle, sometimes you're not. Right now we're on a decent cycle. Do we have any auctions up? We do not. So we're going to do... Um, we'll do an optimized for. And what is optimized for selling for? So why would I have done that, right? Well, it's simple. Now mm, yeah, we're done. So, spend 30 minutes. We can make more if we want to an hour, but I'm going to say 30 minutes. You wanted strong armor. You had one mil, which is not nearly enough. But now we have 
plus 1.7 to leave 3.5 mil, easily enough for strong armor, and an AOTD. So, yeah, it's a pretty good method um, when you're actually doing it correctly. Um, so that made five, we were making five mil an hour with all those breaks and everything combined. Once you actually have enough money to just constantly be buying and selling, you should make around 10 mil an hour consistently, right? 10 mil is very achievable with this kind of setup and it works for a lot of things. So don't, don't limit yourself to just, oh, ultimate wise, you know, maybe this dies because of this video, which it won't. I've told many people about any of the ultimate books, Ultimate Jerry's, um, Infinite Quiver, like the sixes, you buy these for like three, five, I'd say zero to five K. Honestly, they sell for like 10 coins sometimes. Easily make money off that. Um, here's some other items. Any book, amazing. Great investment. Um, if you have a little more money and you want to make way better margins, right, than this, um, a really good one is Diamante Handles. So, these guys, look at that. 150k profit, just like that. Buy one, and see, that guy has already bought it. So you buy that, and you make 150k. Um, think about other things that are low price with good demand. Um, say, AOTEs. An easy one is if an AOT has like a good level of um, ultimate wise on it, like ultimate wise 4, ultimate wise 5. Um, can't really see because I have my menu up really large right now for the video, just for flipping. But, um, oh, and we have this too. But still, it's a pretty good, easy method. Make your first 10 million coins this way and, you know, get a decent setup, get strong armor, HD, um, tiger pet, and you'll be all golden. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.